Hello, hello, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support. Yesterday we dropped ink on this scroll and we scribed, and as promised, we're going to flip it for perspective possibilities to see what shapes and symbols stand out and speak to our psyche and psychic senses. Uh, we'll also add on to an oracle. And as well, where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking, we have Ghost Tube for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures. Overall, please do receive your release freely. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome home. Let's go. All right. I'm going to take a moment just to kind of cleanse the palette. You know as well, Screen. you're welcome to join me or fast forward through when you're ready. Taking a nice deep breath. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. In the name and honor of anyone here at any time, thank you for being my muse and may you meet a message with me. Always skewed. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> like my one wrist just... Okay. You're welcome to take a screenshot for personal use only. Uh, describe in your own time. And of course, feel well to comment Where below is it? what you see, sense, or feel. Drop an emoji. Whatever feels good. I feel like I'm at a farm. In my mind, maybe. In my mind. Yeah, it's like I'm just seeing chickens. With like chicken feet around. Almost like this is like a really fun way to feed the chickens. Like if I was standing there and sprinkling or like putting grass seed down even like grass seed and you know fall seasons really upon us close at least here in canada and you know, might be a time to what is it like fertilize or overseed for the fall and then i'm hearing that song from ba -ba 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 mary poppins Feed the birds Tuppence Frank. for sale Tuppence Hi Frank Tuppence There's something I in this twirl that I'm doing Yeah, like I feel like I'm actually twirling But it's in the same spirit of even like one of those Grass seed spreaders the link below will be to the OG as well because there was something about the same concept. Anyway, the point being is when I'm doing this twirling, maybe you're doing some stretching, uh, working with the air element, with your earth element of the meat suit in the mind. Yeah, this is pretty much where I'm at. And I'm in this twirl. Maybe you're doing like spinal twists or you're doing some side stretches. It's from armpit to my waist-ish. I'm really focusing on my rib cage and there's like energies coming out like from the side bodies like these are not mine but it's almost like it's the twirl the twister the cyclonic technology of this ability agreed kind of just gets them flinging out because they're not really yours or they're worn and I, do, I don't know how else to say it. I feel like I can breathe between my rib cages better and maybe through any mindful movements or stretching or weightlifting, but whatever it is that you're doing, maybe you're doing laundry and lifting, you know, lifting the, it doesn't have to be this like specific thing. The way you're doing your motions throughout the day, the way you're posturing at your chair, the way you lift your laundry basket and, or grab the groceries pick up your children or your pet but there's definitely something about the twirling and spinning and it's almost like by doing this as well feeding the chickens like what is fun coming to get it me. feels fun when i go into the like the the frequency farm of that of sorts i also want to note that like in this whole kind of clearing the air clearing the air and not forgetting the side body air and maybe that's even in your side mind like sidebar thoughts that i like to call them sidebar you know blah blah blah, blah, blah. there is this if you can imagine that cyclonic kind of twister 
twirling, creating what I would imagine it would look like to be in an airplane or, I don't know, walking around. And a time travel, like Bermuda Triangle. Excuse me. And it would start to like circle and circle. And then you go through, it's like, I almost want to say like missing time or got somewhere really, really fast. And, you know, well, I traveled X amount of kilometers or miles and, you know, f in physics, it's not possible by what we know, but there is some sort it. of tunnel about this. There might also be something from my childhood I'm feeling that I Guy. might have missing time or with your children, missing time with your children uh, from or your adolescence because I'm seeing like up, up, you pick me up. I'm also seeing a teddy bear on a string and it's almost like these two rolls with this one. Oh, there's also like a plushy, Angel. plushy whale. Yeah, I think, I think it's like a, a parent or somebody playing with the child, but I don't know if it was you or your child is seeing spirit or see, has an imaginary friend. And you're like, who are you playing with? I'm playing with you, but they're over here Talk up. You pick me up, especially if you had a family member pass. Eight of cups and eight of swords, double eights. If that means anything to you, please follow that. Lord of shortened force and abandoned success. Somebody had a short life. What year is it? It could have been when you had, uh, we we're in 2024. 20, took me a second. This feels like when my child was born, my parents or somebody really important to me, like a sister or an auntie or a best friend wasn't, uh, was no longer incarnate to see see the birth of my child so in that sense it was like they were their life was cut short to see this progression and growth of my life and of our family but they're that guy that's what I feel like I feel like they're like nena or papa and they know only know by a picture but again this might have been you it might have been you because there's like double infinity here happening. I also want to know it's like their passing created a clearing of that cyclonic Real. thing to go through that time travel tunnel. I don't know whatever it is. It's very staticky, but like to become the guide, a protector and a servant of and a spiritual servant of your your child and or you if it's not your so you have somebody around you that it feels like they Fraud. might have abandoned you by them trans transferring to the afterlife you know we can go through those the, through the grief process of feeling abandoned and now that you're having your own family or whatever successes is happening in your life sometimes they can feel lonely because they're not around but they are around it's, it's double infinite, double infinite lights. Also, if somebody, if this is for one or many, and thank you for holding space for this message. If somebody has lost a child and their, you know, their, their life was, uh, days, weeks, hours, etc. please do not feel that the success of the interaction and the connection and the love was abandoned either. So there's a very clear understanding of the hurt that is happening but this I, it's almost the same story in the other way I came in for a time to materialize this understanding is known when you know when everyone is collaboratively um, in the universal space of pure spirit versus okay limitedly being human but your heart knows this and it was but I'm growing with you I don't think I did that justice and I apologize, but hopefully you can feel the sentiment again. It's like, I'm still here. I'm growing with you. And if you have since had another child, they're growing with that sibling. It's really very sweetly sentiment. Um, also, it could be something about with the double eights. There could be something about uh, twins. I mean, I mean like you had twins or you are a twin twin souls twin flames you know apply it where you will but it feels as though i feel like i can see a sibling 
around me or a guardian or a spirit that is just plain as day. And maybe you saw this when you were a kid, seeing spirit everywhere. Four of Cups, Lord of Blended Pleasure, and the Wheel of Fortune, Lord of the Forces of Life. In front of you. The Wheel of Fortune did come in the reverse. If you want to align with that, by all means. But for me, this is... The shortened force abandoned successes with the blended pleasure and the forces of life. There is so much at work here. It feels like I am remembering a piece of the pie that feels like it takes away the whole of my heart and yet creates a rainbow of protection. I feel like as though there's like, I know there's 69s, but I'm seeing them as baby pins. Even by being incarnate feels like a severing from my home, from my source. Like there's all of, there's so many layers of this and I hope I'm doing it some form of justice. Like whether none of those other storylines kind of land, land and please don't force it to fit. That's not the point, but thank you for holding space for others if it's for them. Even just bringing it all the way into myself and saying, when I decided to incarnate, I left. I left my, or a portion of my experience, existence, feels as though it left home. Home. And that can be hard to... Close to it. wonder why... You know, why one might have done that or why we did that, why I did that. And I got to say it's for at least the way I'm feeling it. It's because... Closet. Okay, hold on. This is the cycle of life. This is the cycle of life of stepping in to the skin suit. <laughs> To have the blended pleasure of being a spirit incarnate. Like your spirit wants to have this experience. Because the benef benefits of it, like going from, sorry, that's not the right thing. It's like from this whole wheel of fortune, but this one piece that of heartbreak and hurt that was, sh you know, maybe short-lived, not long enough. They didn't get to live a long, full life, or they did, and the time that I was raising or going to have a baby or a child or have my growing family, they didn't get to see. Like, I just feel like there's all Come this closer. missing out, you know, abandonment and missing out. But there's actually repair to make that become full again. I really hope I'm doing this justice. I apologize if I'm not, but it feels worth acknowledging because it's like I'm getting into that side body stuff side body stuff the priestess of the silver star and it's like I am using magic wands and knowledge knowledge that I know from this lifetime other lifetimes maybe but I'm listening to spirit all over the place, all yeah. over the place here. I don't want to be doom and gloom. That's the thing. I feel overflowing. And maybe this is from an emotional space of overflowing through grief, gratitude, regrets, concepts, whatever the case may be. And so I spin. And I release and I welcome the air element to flow between my arms and my legs, the upper and lower realms, to feel my heart and my throat like leaning back and just feel the openness, the stretch, the strength of it all. And to kind of Come closer. Mm. To realize and remember. I'm, I don't know if I want to say it like I'm not, no one abandoned me and I didn't abandon me either. I think that's the way I want to say it. I, 
if there's things that I feel I abandon within myself, Now I'm in a junk drawer of things that I've kept, snippets, pieces. I might want to use this. I might want to do this. I might, you know, and this junk drawer has collected things and I'm going through it and I'm like, you know what? I remember having that thought. I remember the potential. I remember, do I want to keep it? Do I want to keep the remembering? Donate. I'm going to leave this here because I feel like I'm, sh I feel as though I'm going through a junk drawer and I'm also vacuuming. There's all this cleaning kind of concepts, but I don't want it to imply that I'm being insensitive. And I think this is where I'm, I'm feeling hesitant and uncomfortable. And then I'm at this farm with all these chickens pecking and they're just eating. But I think that's the thing. It's like everyone's still around. Everyone's still around. No love has been lost. And no loss is unloved. It is all here now. And now I kind of feel like I'm at a funny farm. And I'm learning more and more and more and more every day. By watching my children grow, I learn more and more every day. By watching my career or jobs, my choices, my reflections, my interactions, my talking, I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing. And sometimes growing is letting go. I'm going to let you Restless. go. Restless. I know. It's crazy. All right. I'm going to let you go. I will see you so again soon. Thank you so, so much. I hope this did inspire, educate, or entertain. And until next time, so much love. Crow deck communication nature inside direction. <laughs> <laughs>